Yo, what's going on? It's your boy King J. Today we have a different type of video. I have the Aurora's 17 inch laptop. Now this is a beast. Now the reason why I say this is because 4080 in a laptop, I definitely need that because obviously I want to start playing Tekken 8 abroad and I want to start making content and I can't bring my big PC with me so I have to bring a laptop like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the tech specs I'm gonna try out Tekken 8 show you what it's like when it's plugged in and when it's not plugged because I feel like that's the common question like how is it when you don't have it plugged in um, you know if there's no power being plugged into it or how is it when you do have power so I'm gonna do that go through the tech specs and I'll give my verdict on whether you should get this laptop or not so let's go shout out to the people at Gigabyte You've sent me a nice laptop. This laptop is said to have 4080 graphics card. Now, I don't even know what it looks like, but apparently it's meant to have a 4080 in here. So yeah, we're gonna open it up. As you look and see, look, you can see it from up here. I'm gonna turn up the ISO a little. I've got some stuff on the side I'm gonna show you lot. So here is the laptop. This is the big, 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 big reveal. Yeah, cool. Ooh. This looks kind of nice, isn't it? Look at that. This looks kind of nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is me. Yeah. Need to turn it on and stuff. It's got the HDMI. Quite slick. I didn't really expect. I kind of expected a bit more of a gaming design. So there's two USB uh, 3.1s, USB C. This is where you plug your power cable and the DC in. One HDMI slot. So yeah, what is in here? I don't even know. What's the other stuff? Ah, oh, so this is the power cable and stuff. Yeah, it's got the brick, the big brick. Jeez, this is a big brick, boy. That is the unboxing. I'm gonna test it out and do a proper review, anyways. But like, yeah, I just wanted to. They wanted me to do an, a a live unboxing on stream, and I'm not lie, I'm pretty excited. It looks nice. Very nice and slick. When it comes to the tech specs, there is a couple key features that I want to talk about. So the key features would be that this laptop comes with Windows 11 Pro, which Gigabyte recommends for Windows 11 Pro for business. You've got an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 graphics card. 4080. Crazy. So you know all those games that you play and you want the graphics to be in that top notch yeah this laptop ain't gonna struggle and it ain't gonna be making no loud noise as well because i've tried it and there's no loud noise when playing it without charge or with it charge so yeah it's great 13th gen intel iCore i9 you know <sighs> processor is looking real nice and then it's got up to 17.3 16.9 at full hail do that again you're good and then you have the 17 inch display and it's a 16 by 9 full hd 1920 by 1080 360 hertz panel so i know it's not really going to cater towards fighting games but if you like shooting games and all of those games that you know they have and allow you to use high refresh rate you can go to 360 hertz so it's pretty cool and then there's other little things as well that it has some quality of life change but i'm going to show you the stuff here so here we go let me go and show you the screen so yeah like i said the operating system is here you've got 13th gen intel core i9 you know processor 5.4 gigahertz you've got a geforce rtx 4080 laptop gpu 12 gigabyte you know if you can I wouldn't say to overclock. I don't really like overclocking stuff, but yeah, you can, you can, you know, do what you're doing with that. 17.3 fin bezel, full HD, 1920 by 1080, 360 hertz uh, display. And then you've got a bunch of other stuff here, two time M M.2 SSD slot. So you can read it for yourself. Everything is here, right? But the part that stands out to me is that they have Thunderbolt 4. Right, and they have HDMI 2.1. So if you wanted to, I don't know, play it. If you wanted to do stuff or like port stuff into like a monitor, you can do that with the HDMI 2.1. 
There's also other little things you can do in terms of capture cards and stuff like that as well. So that's why it's very handy that we have HDMI 2.1. Not many laptops have that. So yeah, this, this laptop comes with quite a lot of useful things. And then they have the Wi-Fi 6E technology as well. So yeah, let's, let me show you how it works. And let me try out some Tekken 8, man. I'm, I'm, I need a laptop, right, that works with Tekken 8. So let's, let me show you. And bearing in mind, like, Tekken 8 ain't like no, like, it does require graphics and stuff, but it shouldn't be struggling too much. But yeah, without, look. Nah, this laptop is actually crazy. It's loading up pretty fast. So what we'll do, we'll pick Kazuya. Yeah, like, it's really loading up the stuff pretty fast. I'm not going to lie. And I just turned on the laptop. There's no charger or nothing like that in there, right? So it's, it's pretty crazy. Most laptops, usually they struggle with power. You're like, oh, okay. Like, you need to have the charger in. This is... And it's, there's no sound as well. It's not noisy. Bro, without a charger? Okay, so there was lag there. But my settings are pretty high though. Like the performance is pretty good. There is some slowdowns when it, when there's a when there's attacks, but the thing is, is that there's some laptops that don't even load the stuff. So I'm I'm pretty impressed. Like it's not fully bad. It's like there there will be like slowdowns, but I need to see what my specs are on this because. It might even be that it's too high. Do you see what I'm saying? So, let me have a look. So, my graphics is on full screen. Yeah, so most stuff is on high. So, that's probably the reason why. And there is no power source to it. There's no, like, I haven't put the power plug in yet. But I'm more than sure when I put the power plug in, it's going to be a different beast and it's going to work perfect. Like, it looks perfect as well. Yeah, so... I really enjoy it. Let's see how quick the loading time is again. Because I'm going to switch characters now completely. And show you. So, we'll change to... Right, two completely different characters. Here we go. Let's see how fast it loads up. Because you know laptops and stuff do struggle. Straight away. Man, that's pretty crazy. That is crazy. So yeah, you, you can see the performance. Like, even without even without it having any like you know power source to it, it works well. There was some slowdowns, but then when you put the power plug in, it's fine. There ain't no loud sounds or anything like that. You can hear that it's working, but you know some laptops they sound like they're about to take off, right? So, for me, I personally think that this is just it's great. It's great. That day quality of it looks amazing as well it is a bit tad bit heavy but i feel like it's nice you know so yeah i think this will be a laptop if you're not always looking at a laptop for fine games this this one is the one in my opinion Again, I'm just trying to see if there's any slowdowns. No slowdowns yet. So it's 
So yeah, let me give you my final verdict. All right, so my verdict on this laptop is if you need a great fighting game laptop, as in you got all the fighting games on there, you don't want it to slow down, Street Fighter 6, Tekken 8, if you're a guy like me that likes to play these games, this is the laptop. Now, the reason why I say that is that you've got a stunning, stunning 4080 graphics card. Not only that, you've got the latest 13th gen Intel Core as well. So the processor is pretty top notch. You've got the graphics card top notch. And then you've just got nice ports. You've got Thunderbolt 4 as well. Like, what else do you, what else do you want? You know, so for me, I really like this laptop. You've got Windows 11 Pro as well, so that's pretty good if you're on Windows 11. Some people might want Windows 10, but yeah, me, it's, the latest. it's got the latest of the latest, and you can play the games. I can't ask for more. So yeah, if you don't want that Aurorus 17-inch laptop, go and get it. For me, I'm co-signing this. I think it's a very great laptop, and I will be using it on my travels. So yeah, other than that, it's been King J. If you like these tech reviews, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Remember to subscribe and support the channel. Take ease, everyone. Peace.